Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be finishing up the styling for our heads up display and we are going to be showing you how you can style your health bar and your mana bar just to make it a little bit tinier, um, and a little, not a bit tinier but a bit tidier, make it look clean and sleek like we've got here. And what we're also going to be putting in here is this little icon for the player, we're going to have a piece of text for their level and we're we're also going to have the player name. Now bear in mind the player name and the player level and the image aren't going to be live at the moment but that is something that we're going to be covering later on in the series. So the player is going to be able to set their own name, they're going to be able to set their own picture and they're also going to have experience and leveling and all of that good stuff. But for now what you should do is go ahead and download the latest version of the heads up display assets. As inside of here you can see I've now included the health bar, the mana bar and I've also got some stuff for the backing of those bars, the player picture and all of that good stuff. So once you have got that, head over to your engine, go to your content browser and go to your HUD assets folder. Just double click that to open it up and then what we want to do is we want to include the new images. So at the moment we've only got the XP bar stuff in here and the action bar. So what I'm going to do is select the bars bar back, health, mana and the player level back, player picture and player picture back. Just click, drag and drop all of those into your content browser to import those into the engine and then from there we can then start to bring those into our heads up display widget. So give those a couple of seconds to import and then from there, like I said, we can put it into the widget. So they're all in there now. Let's go over to our blueprints folder and then just open up our RPG HUD widget and we can start bringing those in. Now for those of you that have been following the series already, we have already got a health bar in there and we've already got a mana bar in there and they're actually already attached to the variables that we've got for health and mana. So what we're going to be doing instead of setting up new progress bars, we are simply going to style the two bars that we've got already using the images that we have just imported into the engine. So let's start off with that. So grabbing the top bar, which is the one for my health, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my style, background image and I'm going to set this to our no fill for our health and then the one for the fill image is going to be obviously the filled version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my HUD assets folder and then I'm going to look for my health no fill and then I'm just going to sign this in here and then that will give you the black background for our bar, set your margin to zero and then once you've done that go to fill image and this time just go ahead and type in health and this time the one that we're after is fill once again set your margin to zero down here and then if we move our progress from left to right you should be able to see it filling up there quite nicely and that looks quite good so what I'm going to do quickly is press play just test this make sure it's still working so give it a couple of seconds to sort of compile that and then you can see now we've got our more improved nicer looking bar at the top that is quite nice and when I use my healing ability you can see that jumps up. Now let's do the same thing for the mana so simply dra drag our background image and then for this to set this to mana and then no fill set the margin to zero to tidy that up and then for your fill image just type in mana fill and then once again margin should be zero and then just move your percentage over here just to make sure that's all working. Now if you can see you've got a bit of a discoloration like I have um, you can see the you know the original color here is like a light blue whereas up here it's you know you know sorry whereas on here it's like a dark blue that's simply because we have got this odd looking um, fill color over here. So if you want to get rid of that just set your RG and your B to 1, do the same thing over here 1, 1 and 1 and then that will go to how it will normally be so just set all the values to 1 there. So that's those done. So what we need to do now then is pretty much make sure these are the same size as well. Now we are going to implement the little picture that we've got here, the background for the bars and the text for the level and a few other bits. So Starting off, I'm going to put the background in for the health bars. And if you remember correctly, this should just be called bars back. And then all you've got to do is pretty much just scale this and drop it into your scene 
just like that. However, you can see right now, the issue is that it's actually going over the health bars that I've got already, which isn't really what I'm looking to do. So we need to change something called the Z order. The Z order is pretty much going to change what will appear first and last on our screen. So if you read this, higher values are rendered last and so they will appear on top. So if you want this to appear below the health bars, you need to set this to something like negative one and you're going to see it's going to pop below it. Now, generally, I don't like going into the negative values. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set this to zero and then I'm going to click one of my bars and I'm going to set, set that to one. And I'm going to do the same thing for both of those. And you can see they are now both on top. Now, bear in mind, the placement's a bit off here. So I'm just going to adjust these, change my size a little bit and put it in there, making sure I leave a little bit of space on the left hand side here for my icons. Once I've done this, I'm just going to continue to scale my health bars and my mana bars and just drop them in just like that. So for me, I think that looks about good. If I compile this, press play, and you can see we've now got this at the top. Now, generally you're going to find that sometimes the placement's going to be a little bit off and there's a good reason for that. The reason for that being that we haven't actually anchored, you know, that asset to the top of the screen like we did for the heads up, sorry, like we did for the bars. So set your asset, your anchors to the top left and you can see that it already did it anyway by default so we're all good there. Moving on, let's go ahead and set this image for the profile picture for the character now. So what we're going to do is simply get the name of the asset. So go over here. So let's get the background first. With this selected, we're just going to drop it into the brush appearance. And then we are just going to put it on top of everything. Now, once again, you can see we've got this layering issue here again, where it's sort of going between the health bars, but on top of the background. So what I'm going to do for this, I want this to be on top of everything now. So I'm going to set this to two instead. And you can see this has started to overlay on top there. But now if I move it, you can see it's starting to get the effect that I am looking for. So I've got one more image to go on top of this. And that is the one for the profile picture. So the player picture over here, select this and then just hook this up to your brush appearance. And then the harder bit is gonna be aligning it. Once again, this should be even higher. So instead of Z order three, it should be Z order four. And then just scale this and just try and pop it into space like this. Now, because they're both spheres, it's gonna be a bit of an awkward one to put on there. But after a little bit of adjustment, it should go on there just fine. Hit compile, press play, and you should see the whole unit really starting to come to life now. It looks really cool. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put the little level icon up there as well. So that's one more image. Content browser, get player level back. And then just hook this up in here just like that. And this is also going over my little icon at the top. So instead of Z order four, it's going to be Z order five. So it's all the way at the top. And that looks quite good to me. Now, from like a design stand, uh, you know, standpoint, I think all of this looks way too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly scale all of this down like a lot. So I'm just going to scale it down just like this to sort of get the size that I'm looking for. So I'm going to just adjust this first piece first. And I think that's a bit more realistic in terms of size. And then I'm just going to do the same thing for everything else. And note when I move everything around here, you're going to see it's going to keep that same Z order from before. So I'm not having to go around and play around with it each time I move something. Unreal Engine 4, you know, does the Z order stuff quite well. Um, you know, it just remembers it. So just play around with what you're scaling here. You will get it in there eventually so i'm just going to just do it this way instead and i will leave it at that i'm going to do the same thing for this so let's drag this in here i think that's a bit too big still drag it in and then we'll just leave it like that i think get this health bar in there 
scale it down and then just have it popping out just a tiny bit and then do the same thing over here bit too big there we go and then just make it roughly the same size just over this don't make it overlap too much otherwise it's just going to mess up your progress it's not going to be shown properly about here should be good um, and make sure you take this all the way up to the edge same goes for this just to the point where it's being cut off where it's being overlapped same thing over here and then bring it over the way to the edge and then we got this little icon over here scale this down just a little bit and then just drop it over the little icon there so to me all of this looks pretty good now we're only missing one thing but that's really simple we'll do that in a second but we've got our little bar at the top there everything's working when i heal you can see my health bar going up and my mana going down that still works that's perfect so all i've got to do now then is pretty much just put in the text for the player's level and also the text for the player's name as well once again these aren't going to be live at the moment instead the uh, these are just going to be placeholder text until we do have our xp and leveling system inside of our rpg game so what i'm going to do once again just go back into this hud widget whoops so hud and then rpg hud give it a couple of seconds to load whoops and then from here one little piece of text from the top left here and we want this to go over the icon it needs to be all the way on the top of everything so I'm going to set my Z order to 6 and you can see that's gone on there and I'm just going to set my text to 21 to get a reference to scale and then from here just turn down my text size just a bit and I think I'm going to set this to something like 13 no 15 maybe yeah that looks good to me and then I'm just going to drag this above here looks a bit too big actually so let's set this to 13 and then if we just paste it in if we can just slap in the middle of it just like that looks good to me one more piece of text this time it's not hovering over anything so we don't need to worry about the z order making sure once again it is anchored to the top left and then we're just going to call this vertus underscore let's just say player one so player one and then we'll use a binding later on to set this to a player name and i'm just going to line it up just like that and i think that's good and now if i compile this once again press play look into our scene it looks pretty good i think my text is a bit too big but you guys can play around with all of this heads up display stuff later on in your own free time and you can pretty much just tidy up all of this and make it look really clean make it look really awesome you guys can also use your own you know graphical ui elements it's entirely up to you um, everything that you need is going to be in the download link in the description but for now guys that's pretty much everything for this video once again thanks for watching stay awesome keep creating your boy Virtus signing out. This series was made possible by you guys supporting me on Patreon. If you want to help create other series like this then check out my Patreon page in the link in the description.